I see you standing there. I said, woman, woman, you gotta raise your children right. I said, woman, if you don't want your kids to look like me, you gotta raise them right. You gotta raise them. Have a very motivated individual with a lot of achievements. And uh, so this is our first uh, shot at the Dingle's Den. And so Michael's going to just tell us a little about himself and what he does. Maybe what he does on Fridays or his regular routine. But uh, tell us what you got, got going, Mike. First off, uh, you know, thanks, Joe, for having me on. Um, My pleasure. I'm excited to be here. You know, it's always uh, exciting to be around people that are motivating and people that are um, inspiring, such as yourself. And um, like what he said, you know, I'll tell, I'll tell you guys about myself, but again, I just wanted to start off with this. I got to say, since I, I met him and Chris, uh, these two guys are just amazing work ethic. And they're so happy and, and proud of their own work. And to me, that is inspiring back, at, you know, so a quick, you know, shot to you guys. If there's something that you want to do with yourselves, go out and do it. Don't be afraid to start. Don't be afraid of criticism because it will be there nonstop no matter what. So when these guys keep blowing up, just keep an eye out on them because him and Chris, they're going to keep blowing up. Especially like Joe, he's, he's launching music, he's doing this, he's doing that. And so all this stuff is inspiring me day in and day out. And I just want to say that first off. Um, so... Then I'll get into myself now. Well, thank you, Mike, because um, actually I think we had the same view. <laughs> we were like, we got to get in touch with this guy. This guy has some good stories, and they're real stories, and he works quite hard every day, and he loves it. And yeah. I mean, that's the best thing. A lot of people might do jobs that they don't love, but, you know, look for something in there that you can love. Even if it's just the people, love something, and it just gets a little better. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to hate our jobs, but here's, here's what's special. Are you your own boss, or how did this happen? So, we can start from the, the, the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I was working some you know jobs for other people, and honestly, I started to get tired of it. I did not like clocking in. I did not like, <laughs> and it's not because yeah. of the, the, oh, I gotta start at eight in the morning or whatever. I'm up at 5 a.m. every right, single day right. going. I, I don't, time isn't what it is. I, it's harder for me to work with somebody that doesn't have the same mindset. Right. So right. whatever company it can be, like if their mindset is here and mine's way up here, I don't. It's hard for me to to continue on. So let me ask you this then: What is your sign? What is your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign. I'm a Pisces. Oh, Pisces. Uh, what is that? Uh... Um. Twins? Not, Twins or a fish or? It's a, I think it's the fish, yeah. Most, um, most of my friends are like Scorpios and Leos and stuff, and they're like overpowering. I, I don't know the uh, all the uh, <laughs> I don't know all the, the things that come with the sign. I mean, if you don't mind, let's check it out. Cause oh, I'm yeah, kinda, check it out. I'm kind of curious check now. Check it out. I'm a Capricorn and, and I'm like a half a goat and half a fish, so <laughs> people usually consider me basically a big pussy. <laughs> I think you're But nice it's guy. a goat and a fish. Uh, that's a confused animal, so, um, you know, people might have something there. <laughs> yeah, I mean... You... But uh, I have a lot of friends that are Scorpios and Leos. I mean, uh, <clears throat> August uh, through November. Um, I, you know, you're talking about that kind birthdays of... Birthdays and stuff? It, it is, uh, it's kind of... You look at actually some of them and, and they have these strong signs and they're the complete opposite. Like, oh, you know, the, uh, like you said, you know, we're powerful, this and that. And then, you know, you're up with them and you're like, hey, let's do this. And they're yes. just like, they puss out. And yeah, like, well, so I'm interested in what sign you are because you are highly motivated. You know, and it's like, what the hell? You're completely the opposite of what <laughs> you, you know, this may be. Uh, so it says right here, you know, we're selfless and we're always willing to help others without hoping to get anything back. And that's true. I, there you go. <laughs> We had this conversation the other night on it, like me and a couple of guys, and I don't want anything back, and that's what I'm learning from you, 
like when we had talked to you before, you were like, you know, I just want to expose people, help them get exposed, and build themselves up as a name. And I don't want anything in return. True, very and true. that's humbling. A lot of people don't see that. That's humbling. They just look at it and they're like, he's stupid. He's just giving everything away for free. That's not what it is. Because it'll come back in tenfold. It's just, it just how it works. I'm having a blast. It, exactly. You're uh, doing uh, what you love. What he said in the beginning. Do man. something that you love. And it won't be work. Yes. It won't. It won't. Any any day of the week, it will not be work. You hear that, Chris? When you turn this into too much work, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it as love and enjoying I, it. I hope Chris is loving it because... Um, we're uh, trying our best to bring him anything he can get, and uh, we're here to help him because, you know, I figure in a few years he'll be on TV working anyways. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> he won't be here, but he might give us a job. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. With his Shout out to Chris it. G. Oh, yeah, Neighbor most definitely. Neighbor Chris G, you know. Small town Cali, baby. He's doing his thing. I can't be more proud of that guy. I mean, mm -hmm. in high school, we, we said, hey, and hey, what's up, you know, here and there, but... You know, now we're like building this relationship, yeah. not only like as like business friends and hopefully develop into business partners in yes. some way or another, as well as with you, I hope one day too, you know, it, it, but also it's just like a, like a family because we have a, like a connection that, that we just, it's just there. It's there. Like, eye to eye, we understand each other. It is a mutual respect, I see, believe. Yeah. It is it, a mutual respect. You know, and I see it with you as well, too. And that's why it's easier for me to just come and, and express myself to you because you're not judging. So, you know, and don't judge anybody, guys, because you don't know where they come from, first of all. Yes. Um, a lot of us have hardships, but it's, you know, Joe and I were talking about this actually before we started. Mm-hmm. Just because you're going through something, and he said this, when you hit rock bottom, there's only one way to go from there, and it's up. And I said, Joe, a lot of people don't think that way, though. And they think, I'm at the bottom, this is where I'm staying the rest of my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's not true. Right, Joe? It's not. No, there's only one way, and that's up, baby. Uh, and um, a lot of people hit rock bottom, and then... Um, they become very successful a few times. And they say, well, I hit bottom and I knew how it was and I had nothing else to lose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you've got nothing else to lose, people. It's, you know, it's so funny. It's like ironic when he says that because just last year, I was there. Like, no bullshit, I was there. You know, you have a lot of these people that I, oh, I started from the bottom and this... You guys, look, I don't know all you guys' stories, but shout out to the fucking ones that really did start from shit and lose everything and come back up. Unlike the ones that lost everything that, and then, oh, mom, dad, oh, yeah, no problem, son, here's $100,000, bounce back. You guys are fucking fake. <laughs> fucking stop. Like, just be real. Yeah, be because real. people will respect you and want to be around you more. And the ones that are around people just because of money, you guys are fucking fake too. Yeah. You shouldn't want to Ouch. be around somebody because of just, oh, like, he's got a lot of money. That Money doesn't make nobody real. It don't. Let, like, I know that shit firsthand. I've kicked it with millionaires, and some of those motherfuckers are the fakest people out there. And how you think they got to the top? By being fake. But mm -hmm. you can make it to the top being real. 100. Yes. You can. And so. Just by being you. Yeah, exactly. Like me, I'm, I'm the same person I am as I was yesterday. A lot of people fucking hate it. Do I care? No. I'm on the rise for me and my son and those around me that believe in me and all those that I want to see come up. Chris, Joe, um, I got a couple other people that I, you know, that are on the same stuff as us right now, mm -hmm. starting from right. the bottom, yeah. like for reals. It's fun. And shout out to my boy Kate Fisher. He's an up and coming artist here in Fresno. Um, show him some love, K yeah. Fisher on Instagram. Shout out all your favorite artists local right now. You got time. You well, got time. my as far as artists, I mean, I don't really much. So I like you know, shout out to him and his boy uh, Duquesne Country. Uh, they're on the rise, man. They're they're young hustling entrepreneurs. Right, right. You know, just like we are. And music is their passion. Production is Joe's passion, mm -hmm. and art. Also, if you guys need some art, 
hit this man up. Mm -hmm. He's got some talented hands in the mind. I'm like you there. I like to see things get done. And then you move on. Yeah. Um, I can't after think I hit rock bottom, I've achieved every goal that I've put out there. So I know it can be done. If I could do it, anybody can do it. And you do it, and you don't even have to have people telling you to do it. No. Um, so tell me, what is your business? And, like, who do you do business with? And, you know, what is your business? Are you construction? Uh, what do you call it? Demolition? Um, um, remodeling? Or do you just build from brand new? What do you do? Alright, so we can start with, we'll start with the construction. So about four years ago, uh, actually not four years ago, I'm sorry. Yeah, about four years ago now, actually. Mm -hmm. um, my dad... Time flies, baby. Oh, fast. <laughs> <laughs> my dad and I uh, started our own construction business. So, uh, you know, got the general contractor's license. And so basically we can build from the bottom up. If that's something that anybody needs, we can start from the bottom and build it up all the way to the top. That is so excellent. What a skill. Um, definitely, everything with construction takes time to craft your, your skills. You know, because some people Absolutely. don't just come in there and, and you can start cutting or start measuring and start doing different things. Right. It, and what I've learned throughout my experience of growing in this, this business is that if you're off by an eighth of an inch... You can fuck up the whole house, <laughs> you know, and it's it, it's people think, oh, it's just an eighth of an inch. An eighth of an inch can shift your whole line. Oh my goodness! And, and it's insane. <laughs> so you know, that's scary, people, because uh, what uh, show what an eighth of an inch is? <laughs> oh man, I don't even. Dang, it's about you that. You can't even big. see, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> so oh my goodness, you got to be on point when you're in that in that field, you know. And and let's just say this: be on point with anything you do. Right. Anything you do, it doesn't matter what job you do. If you're at McDonald's flipping burgers, be the fucking best. Point blank, period. Yes. I didn't know shit about real estate. Right. I didn't know anything. I was like, you know what? I'm so curious about this. In 2011, my dad and I flipped our first house and made like 85000 in profit. Bam! I was like, wow. This is. It's pretty fucking awesome. You yeah, know? Uh, working with your uh, head is pretty good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, mind. and I'm still in high school. I was in high school at the time. I was a freshman. Cheers, props. You know, and a lot of people didn't really talk to me in high school. They tried, like, kind of picked on me because I was, like, the smaller kid or whatever. But I never backed down, you know. I won't start shit, but You're I won't big, back dude. down. You're big, dude. You were little? I was. Wow. I just got taller. That's pretty much it. And, uh... We'll talk about the, the Muay Thai and all that stuff down the road. I got into all that stuff. Oh, I love that stuff. That's um, so good for you. That's, that disciplines you also. Go ahead. Well, definitely. So then back to your other question. What else is it? Um, I'm getting into real estate investing as well. Um, more, I like, there's wholesaling. And from there, obviously, once I build up enough revenue, uh, I'm going to have rental properties. Both house, duplex, you know, quads, triplex. Apartments is the goal after all that, you know, going big. I like to go, if your dreams don't scare you, then they ain't big enough. That's absolutely true. So, make sure you're scared as fuck out of your dreams. And, and if you ever want to make a dream come true, this is the place. California, Central California, America, whatever you want to call it. It's the golden. This is the place to make your dreams. But you have to go out there. And work. We're, we're entrepreneurs, you know, that's what we are. So... How do you make sure it's not off by an eighth of an inch? What kind of tool? Is it a GPS tool? Uh, a laser tool? Yeah, we and, have laser. Right. We have laser. Uh, damn it, we have laser tools. We mm -hmm. have regular. I personally, I like to use the old school methods that my dad taught me right. with string and level and stuff. Like just back like they Absolutely. did uh, the Egyptians. And go.